Hi everyone, it's Jamie Hearn. And I just wanted to chat with you today about something that has been coming up for me a lot lately. And it is all about how we are the co-creators of our experience. For any of you who are coaches, healers, teachers, um, <clears throat> even just in your own family and circle of friends, we are always listening to people complain about their circumstance. Oh, poor me, this is so bad. Oh, my life is so hard and so difficult. I'm not happy in my marriage. My kids are doing bad things. Work sucks. Well, you know what? <clears throat> life is difficult. Being a human is not all unicorns and rainbows. As much as I would really love it to be, it's not. That's not the human experience. When your soul incarnated to come into this lifetime, your soul had a list of things that it was going to experience. Some of them are lessons. Some of them are karma. Some of them are just an experience. There's no bigger explanation. <clears throat> And it's not my place to explain why your soul chose to experience this path. So I have a family member who seems like everything has gone wrong in her life. And I can remember my father saying, someone made a deal with the devil. Well, let's look at that. It was not her choice what happened to her other family but it is her choice what her experience is and how she reacts to it so as i look at that statement and i look at the situation that this family member finds herself in ultimately she's the devil and i don't mean that in any kind of like hell heaven sort of sense but she is the one who made the deal with her own soul. So she has chosen a sequence of events that have put her in the place that she's in. Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, it's not my judgment to make, nor is it your judgment to make. But the beauty of all of this is, you can change your mind. You can make any new decision. So it's not like we're stuck in colonial times where you're shackled in the basement and you have no ability to exercise your free will, but we are in a time of enlightenment and we have this amazing access to knowledge and wisdom and guidance and spirituality that no one has had before us. So it's time to take advantage of everything that is available to us. Some of it is useless drivel. Some of it is fascinating information. And a lot of it is just kind of like in between. You might get a little something out of all of these telesummits, and I know I've been speaking in a bunch of telesummits lately, so thank you all for watching me and following me as a result of seeing me speak in these summits, but I have kind of been a little bit well-behaved in those. That's over. So I'm here to tell you that the badass that I am is now just going to shine through. No more shiny, well-polished presentation. You're going to get me. So stop making fucking stupid decisions. Claim your experience as your own and know that you are creating it. And if you have created up to this point and you're not happy with what you've got, you can make new decisions and you can create exactly what you want. I'm here 
to show you the way. I've gone through shit. I've been divorced, been broke. My house has been in foreclosure. I lost my dad. I, you know, I have challenges with my children. But I have learned how to take those experiences and make choices that move me down the path of where I want to go, not get stuck in where I have been. So I want to invite all of you to jump on this train and come closer. See what my process is. Experience the shift in vibration that is available to all of us and truly claim the life that you keep saying you desire. Now is the time to make it happen. I'm super excited that you are sharing this journey with me and I look forward to seeing you on an upcoming webinar I'm doing and Facebook Live. I'm going to be jumping on Facebook Live and sharing some of my rantings and ravings. Um, if you have any questions or you want to chat a little bit more about my own experience and how you might be able to start crafting the life that you desire, drop me a note. I'm happy to chat with you. Do not call me or email me and say, tell me what to do to fix my life. That's, that's not how this works. Sorry, I think this is making a lot of noise. That's not how I work. I am more than happy to help you flesh out the tools that you already have available to you to craft exactly you, what you want as your destiny, but I'm not here to tell you how to do it. That, my friend, is something that you must do yourself. Until next time, I'll see everybody in my next ranting and raving. Peace and badass magic to all of you.